morning! A bit cloudy today. We had a nice work night out last night. Um, a little bit of drama in the. Um, we did a live from the pub and um, I suppose we're not allowed to do that according to weather's policies. I um, guess we got delivered, I think it was five, no, seven, seven milks. Um, and they sort of knew what was happening and then said that we couldn't record live. But we have got some little clips that we did record, so I might put them in um, a little bit later. We were just, we were having fun. I don't think we were um, annoying anyone or anything like that, but I guess it's just their policy that they uh, they want to stop it. Check out the live if you want to see it, and I'll probably put some clips in um, of our nice night. we jump on the TM. We've got the airline running in the background, if that's what you can hear. Um, we'll get some cows fed around. Andy's already out and about. The 6130R and the Teagle blowing the straw out. Just feeding these guys that came last night. We skipped them. There's some nice Angus there. Clouds look pretty menacing today, I think. No M, no little uh, green beast here. She's at, um, well, she's not at college, she's doing online learning today uh, to do with college, I think. That means she's doing it from home, but um, yeah, so she should be learning, doing some essays, which is good. Recovering from her two Budweiser's that she had last night. She did get four, but um, she had enough at two, I think. So we uh, somebody else drunk the other two. Andy, morning. Enjoy all out? It's good, thank you. Mm -hmm. Same about weather screens, a bit disappointing. <laughs> yeah, well, Karen says she's got another pub in mind, doesn't she? Yeah. Is it a green thing, is it? Yeah. Yeah, we might, might try that next time. I mean, weather spoons is good, don't get me wrong, like, they support British farmers and do British stuff and blah blah blah. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It just did spoil it a little bit. Like last time when they just cancelled the table, yeah. I think that was a better way to do it. You know, like, stop the online orders. Yeah, they shouldn't be doing that anyway. You're going there to, to buy drinks and people want to buy drinks. Well, yeah. yeah. You'd have thought so, a business would just act, you know, accept the payments. Responsible for drinking, because we were drinking milk. I know, sending milk there, <laughs> weren't it? And chicken wings. But, um, yeah, we, it didn't dampen our night, and we still had a good time. Didn't we? So, people were 10 hours on the live. No M today, because she's, I think I've already said she's at college. So, me and Andy are going to get some vaccinating done, get all these cattle strawed up. My dad's not here as well, so it literally is just me and Andy. You're struggling there. Eh? <laughs> The wet ones off the clamp, I think. The straw gets wet, it sort of like um, swells the bands a little bit, doesn't it? And gets stuck into it, and yeah. It's no good for trying to pull them out. Although I'm, I'm I don't know what you're struggling with, Andy, because I'm doing this with one hand. Yeah, like, what, what are you, come on, you've not had your weed to mix this morning, have you? You didn't have a glass of milk. Oh no, you did, you did, you did, you did, you did. You did, it was me who had three. Yeah, sorry. We were only people actually thinking about it, weren't we? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. They did. So just letting Andy in now to straw these guys up. Keep him busy with the teagle. It's a really wet bale this. So we're gonna use two in here. You are a bit naughty, you weren't you? Remember you, you trying to attack everything with your horns. AKA the JCB and the Teagle. Hey. So I'm just waiting for Andy to fetch another bale of straw around here so we can get this outside area done. It's a bit mucky. Um, inside's all done now. Feeding's all done. Are you guys happy? Yeah? I like it. Oh God, we got a friendly one here, I think. No, maybe not. It's you again, but you're just a bit a bit wary of you, mate. Well, it started already. 
He's not going to get me, but just got to be wary of him. But they are nice things, aren't they? Hello. He's back. He's now trying to eat my overalls. You're a big softy then. You're lovely, aren't you? You're coming throwing your head about a bit. <laughs> come on, come on then. So Andy's back now. Just blowing a bit of straw into that pen. And then he'll do the outside of this one. Because it's really mucky. Just wet weather it just destroys these outside yards. They need so much straw. At most farms you would leave these outside yards and you just scrape them out. Um, because straws are expensive, um, I'm going to try and escape on me. And um, yeah, they've got plenty of place to lay in the back of the shed. But we tend to find that there's always one or two that wants to lay outside and they get covered in muck. And um, yeah, me and Andy have to clip them all. So we'd rather try and keep them as clean as possible for as long as possible so we don't have to clip their bellies and their legs and stuff like that because it's a time consuming, not particularly um, nice job. And the straw to us, we've got muck for straw, so um, it's not got the same cost associated to it as if you were sort of in the Lake District or Cumbria or something like that and you're having to buy straw in. So, um, yeah, that's why we use a lot of straw. So it's starting to look better already <clears throat> and you'll get this middle section done and then uh, yeah it'll look a bit drier and you're just struggling to get out of here a bit it's getting a bit slippy with this muck <laughs> i know he's got it he's got it he's got it i thought he was struggling to get around the corner but i had little faith in him and he's managed to do it well done andy Coffee time's easy today, don't even need a tray. Mugs available at joeseals.com if you want one. And he's just pulled in to get his cup of tea. And he's a tea man, I'm a coffee man. Do you ever drink coffee, Andy? Yeah. Huh? McDonald's coffee. What, a latte? Toffee latte. Go Toffee it. latte? The cream one, Yeah? Yeah. You get cream on it, do you? I'll have to yeah. try one of them. Nice, yeah. Mm. What does everybody drink here? I wonder what. Do you reckon it'll be a 50 50 split, or do you reckon more people will drink coffee? Well, um, I reckon more farmers drink tea. Do you think? Yeah. Right, so put in the comments what your job is, because one that's interesting. Yeah. Find out if it's just farmers watching, or if it's um, tradespeople, or if it's bankers, or if it's. Um, pilots. Pilots. Oh, we've got a pilot here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's quite interesting. And then wh what you drink. From that information, we will do a back. No, we won't really, but like we'll look through the comments and it'll be interesting reading. <laughs> so I'm just putting some straw out now with the spreader bale. Getting that job done. Nearly empty, to be honest. In fact, I think it is empty. It is, look. So you can see those things just spin round. And as the straw comes out, he just flings it. Just get that last little bit. It's a good little machine, really. Just pretend to like the teagle a bit better. Postman's just been delivered me somewhere. It's very well sealed, though. You got a knife, got Yeah. Because I've lost mine. I think I know what it is. Yeah, I've only got one hand. That's me, I've got it. <laughs> I turned the tractor off so we've got, you can hear my squeal if it's something there. Uh, oh, it's red. Oh, business. Here's machinery who sent me this. From down in your way, actually, yeah. um, Andy. South Moulton. Yeah, South Moulton. So Andy might be able to go and see him when he's down in Devon. 
Here we go, look, check them out on YouTube. Machinery Nation. Business. They have actually got some real good um, reviews on different tools and stuff. And um, yeah, it's quite interesting. Got a TikTok as well, let's check them out. Andy now are vaccinating, worming and fluking the cattle that came yesterday from Skipton. Um, recording their weights as well. Getting that all ticked off so they're all happy and healthy. That's the last of those ones vaccinated. We've got another pen that we need to do um, in a minute. But me and Andy were just saying, our M's passed the test, which is absolutely fantastic. But like a lot of young people now seem to like not be that bothered about passing the test, do they? Yeah, not that fast, do they? And like Andy was saying, when you were younger, that like was what inspired you to work, wasn't it? Yeah, on a car, better car, faster car. First it was motorbike. It must have been your little 50cc then, yeah. was it? Yeah. 15 and 125. Then he got his car. Yeah. What, what, what were your first car then, Andy? Ford Escort. Ford Escort, mm. eh? Beast. And then just working and working to upgrade it, get his turbo on it. But yeah, like um, there's quite a few young people I know now, and they're not, you know, they're just like, well, I don't really need to drive. I suppose it's expensive, isn't it? That's the thing. Yeah. It's very expensive. Yeah, yeah I know. You got to have the freedom of a car, haven't you? Like that's that's what it's all about. Anyway, right, we better get some cattle done. So well, these guys now are going into their nicely bedded up yard with the hay in it. shut the gate and we'll start vaccinating some more so me and andy have got all these efforts to vaccinate now i think they've already been wormed and fluked by their love efforts because they're just oh they've just destroyed the panel that's great this is a bit wild this one i think right i'm gonna put the camera down there's always something on a farm it's messing it up that um yeah, the cows have knocked this, uh, well, the, cat, the heifers have knocked this panel out. So we're now going to have to move the muck out of the pen. Probably put the panel at the other side of the girder because it's damaged the panel. And yeah, it's just a pain. Major pain. That's the panel, Andy's walking on it now. So I'm going to go in there, move that trough. We're going to get some muck out of the front. Then we're going to get shovels and stuff and clean it up. And then hopefully put the panel back in somehow. So we've still got like 40 cattle to vaccinate, but now we've got the job of getting this muck out and putting the troughs back and sorting the panel out. Oh god. I love farming, I love farming, honestly I do. Me and Andy have got the muck out of the front of the pen. We're now going to cut this panel down so that it fits within the web of the girder and uh, we're going to got to cut a bit of metal work off from how we previously used to have the barn. Summit big, oh baby, it's the Chanel. Looks like it's coming in. That is coming in. What a beast. It's dropping, yeah. Me and Andy are all over this, like. He's off. Oh, I want to go in one of them, Andy. I should have been in army. Oh, he's, yeah, yeah, he's back up in there. Back to us, is it? Land here. He's actually coming back. Nice, anyway, it's nice to see. Yeah, it's still going round up there. What an absolute weapon. But I just, like, who wants a JCB? Who wants a, J who wants a JCB or John Deere Tradder? A scan of your lorry when you can be doing that job. If you if you are good at school and you know what you're doing and you're bright and you're brainy, go and find a helicopter. Cause like that's gotta be living that. It's gotta be. Andy's on just cutting that off. I'm gonna cut down with this panel down so we can fit 
inside the web. Originally it was on the outside, but you can see this is really broken up. So we're gonna put it inside the web and then wedge it with a piece of wood. So me and Andy now have um, cut the panel down. We've cut that little bit that was uh, stopping us from putting the panel in off. And we've just got the job of weaving this in and then getting it stood up where we want it to stand up. Which is in there. There's no lifting eyes in this bracket, in this bracket, in this concrete panel because it's one that's been cut down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fetch it over JCB Put that at that side because at the minute it's a bit precarious this panel it could just tip over and then we're going to use the other jcb to sort of guide that in safety first eh andy yeah. so we've got that jcb there just holding it up and making sure the panel doesn't fall over backwards and i'm going to push on this end and try and get it to go in that's the plan right let's see how this works out Falling over onto the other JCB right now. It's going somewhere in line. Plan now is to push it along with the headstock. We're on it. This end, Dandy. Uh oh, we're coming to a problem. It won't quite go. We might have to lift it up very high to get it to go in. This day is just turning into a nightmare. So now we've run out of fuel, so we had to come back to get some more fuel. We're going to need to cut it twice. What does it say in building trade, Andy? Joe needs to measure at least once. Measure at least once, <laughs> cut once. Measure twice, cut once. Oh. If we've got to cut it again, Andy, it's your turn. Yeah. <laughs> right, we've done a bit of faffing. She is going in now. Right, and then if Andy bars it back across, we should be somewhere like where we need to be. Hopefully. Can you bow it back, Andy, towards? That's it, we've got it, Andy. It's, on that end. it's not on that end very much, is it? But no. as long as it's in a bit. And that's in that end a bit. Right, we'll get it bracketed up and then hammer a piece of wood in that other end. Bracket it up now. As per usual, not everything's gone to plan, and the cattle that we fetched around to vaccinate now we're having to take it back to their pen um, because we've got a load of feeding up to do, and also got some cattle to pick up. So, um, yeah, we're not going to get time to do them. Tomorrow's job, hopefully. Actually, we're in here just vaccinating a few of these because we had a few vaccines left and the vaccine is quite expensive, so um, we like to use it up when we can. So we're gonna get that done, get these back in their old pen and then start feeding up and then I've got to get off to pick these cows up. Leave it Andy here on his own. Before I give Andy a hand um, with the feeding up, before I've got a shoot off in the Scania, I thought we'd do Mix some mentions for the Yorkshire Air Ambulance. And today it is a happy birthday from Uncle Ryan to Sophia Kundu. Now, it's your 10th birthday, fantastic, but I've also heard that Sophia came first in her gymnastics competition. Watch this space, watch this space. At 10 years old, coming first, Olympics, I can see it. Um, right, so I've got to get on. Thanks for donating to Yorkshire Air Ambulance. Fantastic, saving lives. We're well over 2,000 pounds now which is brilliant and yeah thanks everyone who's watched through these because um, yeah it's brilliant i'm off now to go and find andy see where he is we've got a bit of feeding up to do so i jump on the tm and then i've got to get in the scania that's running out of time um andy's going to be 
here a little bit later than me, so we need to get this done quick, quick, quick. Um, but I hope everyone's liked today's video. The helicopter, uh, what else have we done? Panel, panel. Yeah, panel. cutting the panel twice. I know, I'm an idiot. But I'm gonna blame you as well, because you were there. I gave you the tape measure, you just, just choose not you to use it. You gave me the tape. There's two people can dance. Two, it takes two to tango. That's what they say, it takes two to tango. Um, yeah, but yeah, anyway. We'll, we'll, we've learned, haven't we? We'll learn from this experience, I'm sure. And people will ridicule us and have a laugh about it. So it's fine. It's all good for the world. Um, yeah, if you liked today's video, remember to press the like button and subscribe. Me and Andy are going to start feeding up. It's uh, been our pleasure making these videos. And we've got a full team tomorrow. M's back. Business. Oh, I might put a separate video up of uh, last night's antics. I can't fit in today's because it's too long. So, um, yeah. Catch you later. See you, bye.